That is two-time Tony winner Sutton Foster's her name, performing in Anything Goes. Isn't that voice? A triple threat talent. Now stars in the hit TV show It's Called Younger. She plays Liza, a 40-year-old divorced mom who pretends to be 26 after struggling to get back into the workforce. This lie creates a double life for Liza. She struggles to keep her secret from everybody in her life except her younger love interest. His name is Josh. Our next category is the 90s. All right, now we're talking. <laughs> Her name was Lisa Lopez. Her nickname was... Left Eye. Correct. Yes. <laughs> next question. O.J. Simpson had a house guest. Cato Kalin. Correct, the mundo. Okay, here's a hard one, guys. Who was the mastermind behind the smashing of Nancy Kerrigan? Jeff Galuli. Oh, amazing. How is she getting all of these? <laughs> She's boardy. Hey. Easy with the F word, sweetie. What? <laughs> with the F word, Sutton Foster. Welcome to the table. Thank you. And listen, oh, we so heard great. your birthday was on Friday. Did you get our gift? We got the same thing we got you last year, except it's yellow, because we know that's your favorite color. Did you like it? It was amazing. Yeah. Thank you so much. It's, it's so gonna look so good on you. We all chipped in. We all chipped in. It's perfect. This show is so much fun, because here you are, Liza, playing a 40-year-old, and she's 26. But you said that you learned something from playing this character, too. Factory. Yeah, about the younger well, people. I do. Well, she's forty, pretending to be twenty-six. Yeah, but well, did, did I say it wrong? No, no it's it's Eight. it's it's great. I mean, I, and I, in many ways, I feel like I've been sort of living under a, a rock, and and then that, that ha I turned forty, and I went, oh, the young people. This is what they've been up to. <laughs> I, know, you know? So true. I know. We shot out in Brooklyn, and um, <laughs> and I was like, there's a guy on a unicycle with a beard and a monocle. I was like, is this a thing? I was like, yeah. do no, people I, do this? I heard a great description. A friend of mine says it's like Mary Tyler Moore meets Sex in the City when hey. you think about the show. Isn't that a good way to That's describe it? That's a great it? way to describe it. Yeah, yeah it really is. It's like a, a wide-eyed, um, you know, a wide-eyed New York tale, and a, and it's a fantasy, and and you know, we all get a chance to. Uh, it's never too late to start over and yeah. reinvent yourself. The yeah. creator of the show, Darren Starr, is a woman in her 40s. I remember a lot of his big hits, which was Beverly Hills 90210, oh. Melrose Place, Sex and the City. What was his about his work that drew you into this? I just, he really knows how to write characters for women. Mm -hmm. He also really knows how to entertain an audience. Yeah. You know, Luke Perry was on my wall. You know, <laughs> I, as a kid, I was obsessed with 90210, too. And course. so he just creates these incredible ensembles of characters, yeah. too. And the, the thing that I love the most about Younger is that it's women supporting women. women. Yeah. Yeah. It's not about women throwing women under the bus or like trying to get ahead that way. It really is about women coming bonding together and being like, I got your back and I'm going to take care of you. I was watching last week's episode in which you end up <laughs> having to walk around Times Square in a fur bikini. Like you do. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what did you think when you saw that in the script? Oh, uh, you know, I was like, oh, what? Uh, we have an awesome um, uh, wardrobe wardrobe department uh, led by Patricia Field, who's like, who did Sex in yeah. the City and she's amazing. And, uh, and so she presented me with the, with said fur bikini, uh, but luckily it was it was a balmy eve in December, and I had some strategically placed warming pads, so I was I was okay. I wasn't but the too show cold. is about friendship. It's about relationships. It's about betrayal. It's about when you when you look at yourself when you turn forty. Did you go to this place that you wish that you were twenty something again? Do you feel that? I don't feel that. Me neither. Me I feel neither. I feel like my life is better now than it's ever been. Yep. I feel like I'm I'm like a good wine. I'm marinating well, and I'm only getting better with age. And uh, and I I like that I have there's an ease about my life now and a contentedness that I didn't have when I was in my 20s. We have pictures of you actually in your 20s. And by, and by the age of 21, you were actually making your Broadway debut in Greece. Yes, wow. in Greece, uh, the revival back in the 90s. Yeah. I actually made my Broadway debut alongside my brother, who was also <gasps> wow. who was also in the show. Our, my very first Broadway bow, I was standing next to my brother and holding his hand. That's He's an be actor an incredible as well. Moment. What's his name? His name is Hunter Foster. Oh, you guys have cool names. Yeah. Is Sutton a maiden name in your house? No, my mom. My mom's name was Helen, and my dad's name was Bob. <laughs> and my mom <laughs> loved <Sutton and> Hunter. <laughs> my mom loved the movies, and she said, if I ever have kids, I'm going to name them something unique. So. Have you seen Hamilton yet on Broadway? Yeah, oh, yes. yes. I'm going again next week. Again. So how many times will this be? Your second? Uh, this will be my uh, third, third time. Oh, you're competing against Gail, who's going uh, for her oh, third I love time, it. too. Yeah. And you always see something different. There's a rumor about you and Gilmore Girls. Yes. I what just, is it? I just, yes. I just filmed, uh, finished filming. <gasps> oh, um, wow. It was amazing. Gilmore Girls is my favorite show of all time. And so I got to spend four days in Stars Hollow. It was pretty awesome. Wow. wow. Your favorite show of all, all right. time. Yeah. Sutton wow. Foster. It, 
Thank you so much. Thank Good you luck. guys. Good luck with the show and the season finale of Younger airs Wednesday on TV Land.